Hey everyone, it's me, Shannon. Um, it's kind of late just coming on here because uh, something was, something's bothering me. I was having a conversation with a friend and we were talking about, we were texting and this person was telling me about another person that they knew who purposefully wanted to be overweight, like severely overweight. This just made me want to cry. Here I am, I would do anything if I could just get my insurance to cover anything to help me lose the 200 pounds that my weight loss surgeon wants me to lose before he'll do the surgery for me. Here I would do anything. I, I mean, I don't know what else to try. I've been, lately I haven't been doing anything because I, you guys know, I just had my gallbladder out the beginning of January and so I've been recovering and trying to find out what I can ha can and can eat what you know my stomach is gonna handle but it is beyond me why somebody in their right mind would want to be this way on purpose. I'm sorry I'm crying in this video, but it breaks my heart. I've been overweight my whole life, and all I've ever wanted was to be normal. You know, I never in a million years, I don't w watch TV. Um, very much. My husband and I use Netflix, so, you know, I don't keep up with news or anything because it's so depressing. And it just blew my mind when my friend was telling me about this person because, like, her and her husband, like, her fiancé, whatever it is now, like, really want her to be, like, a thousand pounds. It's like, how can you do that to yourself? You know, I want to have kids. I, I want to be able to go and go for a walk with my husband. I, I want to learn how to drive a car. I want to go to the mall and buy clothes. So the thought of somebody intentionally wanting to do this to themselves kills me. You know, I, I'm constantly made fun of every time I go out the door. You know, whether I'm with my husband or not. People stare at me. They make fun of me. Hell, in my town, what pisses me off the most is they even try to run me over. I can't tell you how many times I've had somebody try and run me over. It... What have we come to as a society, as people, where someone who's got a thyroid condition and mental illness and any, you know, everything else under the sun can't get help, but yet they're parading this woman around TV and everything because she wants to be so heavy why can't they show people that fight 
every day to be normal, to get healthy. You know, why can't they show people that struggle and are struggling to get healthy and to do what is right? Why? Why? Why, as society, are we drawn to these things? I mean, they're just, this woman is just, <laughs> blows my mind. And like I said, I'm sorry for crying, but I could never imagine wanting to do this to myself on purpose. I wouldn't wish living like this on my worst enemies. This isn't a life. And I just don't get how they can do that to themselves. Oh, well, I love you guys. And like I said, I'm sorry this is an emotional video but this was something that really just broke my heart and I really just had to talk to you guys about it um I'm gonna try and hopefully see my doctor this sometime <coughs> this week um so that I can try and get the go ahead to go up and start exercising because I want to start showing you guys what I'm gonna be doing um, let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see because I don't, honestly, I, I'm like a chicken with my head cut off here. I don't know what to do for you guys, um, you know, because I do have my laptop and that's how I record. Um, I do have a camera. I just don't know how to do it, use it to record or to download into the computer or anything and haven't been able to find anyone that can really teach me how but uh yeah let me know what kind of videos I can do I mean if you guys just you know what shitty chatty videos you know talking with me just expressing my emotions and my feelings you know let me know or let me know if you guys have a topic you'd like my opinion on or anything um just let me know okay i love you guys